This video goes out to JP77. They're a tier four Patreon member, which means once per month, they can pick any song they want for a personalized reaction request. This is the song Life Hates Us Now, which is obviously a super intense title by Mafu Mafu. Sorry if I said that wrong. I'm not familiar with the artist. And uh, yeah, looking down here, I can see the song has 141 million views. So obviously I'm the one that's behind and needs to catch up for not knowing this. So with all that being said, I'm excited. Let's go. Well, I like a little background feathering and sound layers there. That's fun. That is a groove. On, man, it's just four on the floor and a little. Um, chica, ga, do, ga, ga. That's a nice groove. Pretty intense uh, lyrics. JP77 directly wrote me on Patreon and said, you should actually read the lyrics because they're kind of intense. Uh, normally, I just listen down. It's hard for me. I can do like one or the other. Either we're reading or listening or I get kind of a middle ground in both. But I will say the the groove and the drums supporting piano, it's so intimate and it's just like a really nice mix as well. So I'm definitely enjoying the music side, but obviously trying to read along as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep trying. Whoa, okay, wow. Uh yeah, these are intense lyrics. Um God, I'm getting lost, so I just I just can't do I cannot do both. I, I will lose one message. I do feel like we had some snare drum augmentation though back at the end of this verse. I'm going back 15 just to grab it again. Oh yeah, and we totally pulled away from the four on the floor. The groove completely opens up. Drummer is giving us some nice variety here. Oh, then it comes back. Holy push. And the vocals, man, that jumped up like <laughs> the energy level just exploded. And uh, you hear the bass player? It sounds so good. Go back 10 and grab this transition. Man, the the bass player just digs into the roots there. We're we're totally walking and moving, and then as as the lyrics get a little more intense, there we focus in the chord. The I mean, the chord change the changes. The progression is still the same, but we just really really push the roots there. This is intense. I'm having a much harder time in this video doing this since the the requester specifically said read the lyrics. But you know me, obviously, I always listen down to the music side, so I feel like I'm failing on delivering what I normally give you. But I'll keep trying. I promise. <laughs> God, that groove is so good. It works so well against that piano line. we tell this part of the tale here this part of the story we did add a little synth synth strings there and i hear someone coming in with uh twice the speed on it but it's there's little musical augmentations that are real nice <laughs> Obviously, arpeggiating, outlining all the chords. Very so The bass is still a do 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 dee 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 Just kind of just camping out in roots. But the string line is moving around. So they kind of have similar roles. If they both were doing it, I feel like it would be a pretty busy assortment of uh, chord tones that might kind of distract. So, back five. <laughs> 
ず朽ちてゆく不死身の体を手に入れて一生死なずに生きていくそんな SF を妄想してる自分は死んでもどうでもいい Oh, I had b a d a g i d i d a g a g a t There was like a hold on God, see, this is the problem, man This is the problem about you lyric obsessive folk. I'm joking. It's not bad. It's not bad to connect with the lyrics. I get it. I just connect with the music, but I'm missing the music right now. Hold on. I went back to him. Yeah, it's like super intimate. I can hear all the pick strokes on the strings on the d i g a t d i g a t d i g a t That's really nice to listen to. Damn, dude, I, this is such an intense. What is being said is so intense. Okay. And this, the explosion into the chorus, the dynamic level. The, the just how I guess articulated it is matches what's going on. Really good use of percussion there. On the chorus, we kind of play the same groove that we had in the beginning with the four on the floor, but obviously the dynamic level is much, much more intense. And we're wailing on the snare drum now in comparison to what we had before. So definitely some definitely nice、uh, variations there. Here's our progression. That's man, those harmonies sounded very interesting. I'm gonna go back to grab that again. I like the way they're layered and stacked there. Especially the lower, I think the lower voice is my favorite by far. What man, those shifts are just so intense with the way the voice is being delivered. Sorry, I need that again. This is nuts. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's a groove, dude. Okay, wow. That was extremely loud for me. Hopefully, I, I have not been checking them. Usually, during videos, I'll look over and look and see if we're peaking. I've not. I've been trying to read.、Uh, that drum part right there was so groovy, man. Let's go back. Let's get that again. Bop, dug it, dug it. Man, that hits. Listen to the kick drum. That's a fun motif, rhythmically. Wow. 
Uh, super intense. I don't think if, I mean, obviously, yeah, for any song on a first time listen, I, I can just, I can comfortably tell you in first time listens to music, I do not listen to the lyrics at all. I'm only listening to the instrumental side. And then if I have interest in the song, I'll eventually go back and probably open up that uh, discovery of like, what's the song, you know, actually about? Because there's two types of. Programmatic music, like music can make you feel a certain way. We can use instruments, we can use progressions, we can use emotion and passion and better people that have a grasp on composition. Obviously, the more intense the, the, the listener can experience what the composer is trying to give to you. So lyrics, I'm not saying it's a cheat code because it's how we talk. It's how we communicate. Obviously, no, no kidding. Like it's obvious, but you can completely tell somebody how to feel with lyrics because you connect with them immediately. So the reason I take my time on that is because I want to feel what is there musically. And I have so much respect for musicians that can convey so much. Now, if I was not told in the Patreon request message, Hey, like I would like you to specifically, you know, make sure you make sure you turn those on and read them. Um, I would have gotten the idea that the song was about something very intense, not as intense as what the lyrics said. I would definitely have to go back and obviously read because I don't speak the language, but Hopefully you understand my point and kind of like why that is my approach. And I feel like, especially on YouTube, there's like 8,000 like reactors, right? Everyone's doing stuff. And I feel like most people probably do focus on lyrics and they give you like their take and what it means to them. So I, I have nothing to give you there. I generally, the reason I focus on the music is because that's where more of my world lives. And I can give you my insights and the kind of like the, the design aspect and whether, you know, I think it's cool. And, and also reminder, what I think doesn't matter. It's just, just an opinion. Whether I think something's cool, if it's like just mediocre, if it's not that great, or if it's like exceptional, I feel like this is really cool. Obviously, my focus and was kind of going in on the drums and how those grooves change and going from verse to chorus, like the energy exchange that would go from the band to the vocals, I just thought was really good. So that was very enjoyable to listen to, even though the lyrics are pretty heartfelt and, you know, are pretty serious. So anyway, let me know what you think and also give me some insight to how you listen to music and what the value for lyrics are for you. All right.